Welcome guys, my name is Regan McCaffrey, I'm the fine wine manager here at Glengarry and today for this fine wine segment we've got some extremely exciting wines from northern Spain. Now if you still think of Spanish wine in terms of old school Rioja, you're really in for a treat here. We're looking at the area of Priorat, which is in Catalonia, so come down the coast a little bit from Barcelona and then inland to around uh, the mountain of Monsant and that's where Priorat is there, an extremely old winemaking region, been around since the 12th century. And the winemaker we're looking at today is possibly the most talked about winemaker um, in Spain, really embodying the, uh, the spirit of the new Spain, and that's Alvaro Palacios. In only 20 years, he's really gone from nothing to be the most exciting winemaker in the entire region, making one of the greatest wines in Europe, uh, Le Umita. And in this area, within Priorat, we're looking at Grenache-based wines um, from very stony, um, deep gravelly soils, and they're wines which have extreme mineral tension to them, amazing bottles. So we're looking at across Alvaro's range here, right from his Carmen's de Priorat, up to the $1,200 a bottle Le Hermita single vineyard. Now, Alvaro himself, was actually born into a family with a 350 year winemaking history, the famous estate of Palacio Ramondo in Rioja. Um, now unfortunately, as the uh, seventh offspring, and I think the fifth boy in the line, his kind of ascension to running the winery was certainly not guaranteed, and he didn't really want to follow in his father's footsteps. So his father and his brother sent him when he was quite young off to study wine um, at the university in Bordeaux. Now, he ended up actually dropping out of winemaking school, but not before he'd actually got a position with J.P. Moex at the most famous estate for Merlot in the world, Chateau Petrus. And he worked there at Petrus for a number of vintages, basically learning about the great wines of Bordeaux and wanting to take those ideas back to Spain. Now, when Alvaro returned to Spain, he was really looking for areas with extremely old vines and areas that had monistic origins, vineyards that had been planted by the monks centuries earlier because he really feels like those areas have been the ones selected over time as the greatest vineyards. And he found the area he was looking at in Priorat in Catalonia. Um, they've been growing there with the monks since the 12th century, but most of it had been wiped out by phylloxera. He brought a couple of very, very old vineyards there. The very first one was in 1990 and he brought the vineyard that would eventually become Finca Doffy. He was 25 years old at the time and he'd left Rioja. He sold his motorbike so that he could afford to move there and then spent all of the rest of his money gathering together backers and investors so that he could purchase these very old vineyards. It was in 1993 that he purchased the extremely steep vineyard that was to become Lumita. Now the current vintage from Alvaro that we have in stock is the 2009, but today we're actually going to be going back to an older vintage to try, and that's the 2007 Finca Doffy. Of all the wines in Priorat, the Umita, undoubtedly the greatest, but Finca Doffy generally regarded as the second best wine in the region. Not only does Alvaro farm organically, he also uses donkeys and horses to do all of his cultivation and that in there and even he will be the first to admit that it's an extremely uneconomical way of producing wine and that's only just viable in this region. So the 2007 Finca Doffy has a composition of 60% Ganache or Grenache, the other 40% being Cabernet, Syrah and Merlot. Um, really an amazing wine. Alvaro himself describes this as like a stone ball wrapped in velvet. <laughs> He also describes Grenache in this area as the only grape that can transform heat and light into acidity and freshness. You'll be able to find some of Alvaro's other wines in across all of our stores, um, like the, uh, the Carmen's, the Single Vineyard Terrasses, and the Village Blend, blend his new wine, the Gratelops. Um, but for the Finca Doffy and the Lermita, you'll only find those in our cellars, either at Victoria Park, Thorndon Quay, or Gervoice Road, or you can order them online as well, or just give me a call and we can have a chat about them. Well, thank you for joining me. I uh, hope you enjoyed this little tasting. I certainly did. Um, it's great to be able to present some of these wonderful fine wines to you guys. So feel free to contact me anytime about them. Subscribe to the YouTube channel to watch more of these videos, um, or you can follow us on Twitter and Facebook as well. Thanks guys, we'll see you next time.